poison hemlock is a biennial terrestrial weed. Native to Europe, Asia, and Northern Africa, poison hemlock was introduced to North America in the 1800s as a garden plant. It's been reported throughout most of North America. Poison hemlock grows well at shady or moist sites, but can also thrive in dry conditions. It is frequently found along roadsides, field margins, ditch banks, open floodplains, and in low-lying waste areas. All parts of the plant contain alkaloids that are highly toxic to livestock and humans and are responsible for numerous deaths and birth defects. Livestock tend to avoid the fresh plant but do not recognize it as easily in dried hay. Poison hemlock is highly competitive, displacing native species in natural areas and reducing pasture and crop production. It's also an alternate host for many crop pests. Poison hemlock typically grows as a biennial but may also grow as a winter annual or short-lived perennial. Seeds usually germinate in spring, though autumn rains stimulate germination at some locations. Some plants bolt and flower within the same calendar year. More typically, plants remain as rosettes the first year, then bolt and flower the second year. Rosettes develop long, stout taproots. Rosette leaves are up to 18 inches long, with obvious leaf stalks. Bolting plants typically grow 3 to 6 feet tall, but sometimes up to 9 feet. Stem leaves are alternately arranged and usually grow smaller further up the stem. Leaves are two to three times compound, meaning each leaf is divided two to three times into smaller sections and leaflets. The base of a full true leaf is partially covered by a sheath where it attaches to the plant stem. Leaflets are glossy dark green and have prominent veins on their undersides. They are opposite each other at the base and are finely divided, giving the plant a fern-like appearance. Stems are hollow, have faint longitudinal ridges, are light green, and are covered in purple spots or splotches. Leaves and stems give off an unpleasant odor when crushed, described by some to resemble mouse urine. Flowers are produced in midsummer at the tips of stems and branches. Flowers occur in three-inch umbels that resemble upside-down umbrellas with all flower stems arising from a single point. Poison hemlock flowers are compound, meaning each stem of the umbel is again divided into umbelettes, each with approximately 15 flowers. Individual flowers are tiny and have five white petals. Each fruit splits into two single-seated structures that are oval, flattened on one side, and have conspicuous wavy ribs. They're green at first, but turn brown at maturity. A mature plant may produce between 1,500 and 40,000 seeds annually. Some seeds may remain viable for up to six years, though most germinate within three. Most plants die after flowering and setting seed though a small proportion regrow from the root crown to flower again in the following season. The white umbel inflorescences, purple spots on stems, and hollow stems of poison hemlock differentiate it from unrelated lookalikes. Poison hemlock has numerous relatives in the carrot family, present in North America, and many have similar features. The exotic wild chervil and bird chervil both have fern-like leaves and a similar appearance to poison hemlock but both grow smaller and lack the purple splotches on the stems. Native angelicas and water hemlocks can appear very similar to poison hemlock, but their leaves are not as finely divided and fern-like as poison hemlock, and many lack the purple splotches on stems. <laughs>